How's it going? Welcome back. So today we've got a little unboxing for you and the test run of the new Mark WS100 wireless microphone system. I borrowed this from Long McQuaid in North Bay while I was in town today. I just, every time, it's not a Friday, I know it's not payday. And that's why I told them when I went in there, I says, hey, I know it's not payday, but I was in town, I had to stop in, check out some stuff, you know. And I'm getting some ideas running around too for Christmas, some stuff I want to get. So anyways, I was uh, talking to them about a wireless conversion kit uh, that I saw on the internet to find out if they got that sort of thing and we're looking at stuff and it's like, well, you know, that's actually going to be like out of the question. Um, anyway, so um, I don't need an expensive high-end wireless mic because I'm just in the studio. But I do need something that also sounds good too. So we're hoping this fits the bill because it is 24-bit um, according to the box. And uh, frequency response is 50 to 20,000 hertz, 200-foot um, range, which <laughs> I'm only going to be a few feet away. So anyways, I took this off ahead of time. I also got a couple other things. A mic clip for this thing. Uh, this is also on loan. This I actually bought while I was in there. It's a windscreen because I need it either way. Uh, the only color they had though was red left, but I don't care. You know, if I don't like it, I can always swap my black one on. But um, anyway, so uh, mic clip is a pressure clip system. Just squeeze it and locks her on. So let's take a look at the locks here. It's kind of like a pistol case, you know? You guys ever see these things? It's like you got the lock on each side, you know, it's kind of cool. Anyways, you know. so let's see what we got in here. We do have a user's guide, highly recommended to read it. Power supply, a uh, little power adapter it looks like. Oh yeah, it just slides on there. Okay, so that's, that's cool. Um, we've got the box. So wireless systems are preamped, which means you can control a lot of output from here right into your mixing board first, and then set your gains from there and so on. So this is just a basic on and off thing, um, and of course your volume output, you know, minimum, maximum type thing does have a couple of antennas here that pop out the side like a so that's actually kind of cute uh, line in or mic balanced port okay like I said read the instructions we do get a cable which is a unbalanced cable so we'll probably have to go through the line um, and of course a microphone. Now this thing also does come with batteries too, so they it's kind of like a ready to run thing, kind of like RCs are ready to run. Well, this is ready to run music gear. And uh, so you've got, um, this would be totally off, standby, and then on. And uh, you just unscrew the bottom here, and how do we get the battery door open? I know, we read the instructions, that'll help. Yeah, we're going to read the instructions before we play around with stuff. So, um, anyways, put your two AA batteries in, you're ready to rock and roll. Let's take a look at this windscreen, see if it's even going to fit the mic. So, uh, oh yeah, that, that'll fit, no problem. Just squeeze that puppy right over. There we go. That cuts down the, the pop and wind. Kind of cute. I think I will swap out the black one on there. That does look kind of dumb. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, stupid looking. Alright, we're going to swap the black one on later. But the test is without. Right? So, mic clip. The mic clip is seven bucks. The windscreen is like five bucks. Um, yeah, price is on the package here. Five bucks. 
So that's what I paid for the windscreen. Um, and then this is $129 for the whole wireless kit. But um, you just slap her on just like so. And uh, Which way is this going to go? Oh, there we go. Yep, just like that. And it even has some uh, little foamy rubber grippers in there too, so that it doesn't hurt your microphone. So you just put your mic in like that and angle it the way you need it, and voila. So, I'm going to take a minute, shut the camera off, and I'm going to go set this stuff up and get her dialed in a little bit, and we're going to give her a test and uh, see what we think of this thing and go from there. Don't go away. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and welcome to the testing of this new cool microphone by Newmark. Newmark, 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 Newmark. So I, uh, I, I think I really am liking this thing a little bit here. Um, I've uh, got the uh, volume output set around 3 o'clock on the uh, receiver, giving us some good preamp out. Um, I got a little bit of compressor in here. And I've got my gain set around oh, 3 o'clock on the dial. And I'm not even pushing a peak light yet. And my main output is at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. I really think this thing is, uh, hey, it's, you know, it's not too bad. It's pretty good, you know. Like, you do have to be close to any microphone, which is true. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, working really good. So, pretty impressed with that. Uh, I can see the little idiot light on the thing going ding, 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 as I'm talking. So, um, yeah, we're transmitting really well. Now, this is supposed to have a 200-foot range. Uh, unfortunately, I only have about 10 feet, so there you go. Uh, we don't need to test the range anyways. Um, it's We're in here. But, um, yeah, I uh, really like this. It uh, seems to be uh, working good. Um, you know what? Let's do a range test. What the heck? I'm going to talk, and I'm going to try and be, you know, really not too loud. And uh, I'm going to walk outside and see how far I can go. And uh, my wife will have to let me know, hey, you're out of range. Okay, so don't go away. We'll just keep talking. We'll keep talking. We'll keep talking. you got to listen to see what I'm out of range there. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm heading out the door now. And uh, I'm going to take a little walk here. Okay, so right now I'm probably about, um, oh, good 40 feet away. Um, I'm just going to keep walking backwards. Okay, we're at 50 feet. We're at 50 feet. This is pretty cool. I like this. I can't hear what's actually going on. <laughs> I'll have to watch my own video after <laughs> just to see. Okay, so I'm like three-quarters of the way down my driveway here, and we're still going. This is crazy. This is crazy. Still no warning yet, saying that I'm breaking up or anything. Um, okay, so we're definitely uh, at about 150 feet, roughly, and we're still going. I can only go so far, and I'm going to be in the forest, and I don't feel like crawling through there. This is too nasty. Okay, so uh, I'm approaching the end of my driveway, pretty much. Um, ah, what the heck, let's just cross the street. And uh, so we are definitely... Uh, we are way over 200 feet away, uh, and still going, still going, still going. Okay, so on a rough estimate, I'd say I'm probably about 250 feet away, and uh, I think that's more than a sufficient test, so it definitely has more range than uh, what the box says, because the box does say, you know, 200 feet, right? So we definitely flew way past 200 feet, so... That's definitely earned my respect. Well, you can't say I'm not getting any exercise today. Wait, I did get my exercise. I was working earlier today. This is the extra, extra exercise. So I'll work off dinner. Okay, guys, so I'm heading back into the house now. My wife's got a big smile on her face. She thinks I'm funny or something. Well, some days I guess I am. No breakup.
See, there you go. You heard it right from the boss. All right, so <coughs> definitely if I had ever used this setup outdoors, yeah, it would definitely go <laughs> way over 200 feet. So awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, the sound quality is pretty good. You know, um, I get to, you know, play with that with my mixing controls because there's no... Uh, bass mid and treble controls on mic systems anyways they got to be tailored through a PA or mic system so or sorry PA mixer but um, anyway so uh, I guess the next thing I do is uh, set up at a, my other mic stand and throw this clip on and uh, we'll have to uh, do a, a full run and uh, see how it works with uh, doing some vocals and music together and just to see how that goes. So, hey, you know what? Just don't go away, we'll be right back. Wait a minute, yeah, we're not gonna do another video. It's all gonna be this video. Don't go away. Okay, guys, we're back and we're gonna do a little bit of a tune. And uh, just see how this thing goes with uh, without a mic screen, and then we're gonna put a screen on it. Okay, so now we're going to do a test with the um, windscreen, wherever I stuck the thing. I took it off the other night. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that red thing. Reminds you of a clown nose. That's what my wife said. It reminded me of a clown nose. I'm like, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so now we have a windscreen. This should be a little bit better. Okay, so that's what we've got. Um, I kind of like it either way. Um, with the windscreen on, it really does help get rid of a lot of that bass pop that happens, uh, at least with the present setup anyway. I'm going to have tweaking to do, obviously. But um, so, so the, the screen does help uh, reduce that quite a bit. Uh, you do have to pretty well eat the mic almost. Of course, you can adjust for that with your outputs and your preamp out and all that other jazz so not a big huge deal so you know for 130 bucks i mean i really don't think you could ask for better um i've gone out way over 200 feet with it i mean you know and the the whole unit of course is sitting in my room here so we've got concrete walls blocking signal and everything else and we got the lighting in our house is all led which i don't think really makes much difference um, but, um, you know, going outside that far away too, and, you know, not even being in within line of sight either. Um, the range is very exceptional. Um, it does seem to have like, you know, let, let's balance out the tone. Okay. So we're going to go with centering bass, mid and treble. 
So this is with bass, mid, and treble all centered out. So no equalization on my voice, just a touch of reverb. So let, let's try just balanced out like this and uh, see what it's like. Everything at 12 o'clock. So that's with the windscreen. Let's remove the windscreen. thing you're going to notice too is I also switched out guitars. I'm using the Takamina this time which is a much larger and louder guitar than my little Fender is. So which also gives us a little bit of a sound difference as far as my Apex mic goes. Um, but as far as you know everything else um, you know it's it affects the mix eh? because you know I'm playing loud enough that it's going to get into here too and out through the speakers a bit. So, and I'm not even plugged in with my guitar. So that'll be the next pile of fun I get to balance out and work out the, the dial settings for. But um, I'm definitely gonna give this thing a huge, huge thumbs up. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say an easy, easy uh, four and three quarter out of five. Um, I have no problem doing that with this mic. The range has proven itself to be more than exceptional. Sound quality, even balanced, everything out at 12 o'clock is actually pretty good. Um, I actually have to dial down the treble and the mids a bit for my voice, but um, you know, the thing is, you custom tailor to your to your vocals that you want, um, you know, type of thing with with any setup. But um, you know, the mic clip is actually pretty good. Uh, it holds it in there really nice and firm. Uh, I like that, so that's that's really good. Um, and hey, I eliminate a cable, which is great. Um, I still have this cable on this mic, and I have my other cable on my other mic, but th that cable down there is buried for my amp. But, um, you know, this, this really does help as far as, you know, being able to say, okay, I can take this and I can, you know, just move it over in the corner. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not gonna trip over anything, ah, you know, on the way out type of thing, uh, which is another reason for going wireless, right? Not to mention, I love tech. Um, I've been looking at a lot of wireless mic systems and um, from a few other companies too, okay? Um, and what I've been seeing, what I've been reading about, um, I would have paid a lot more uh, actually at this other company in Mississauga uh, and their microphone system has actually been found to be very much inferior to pretty much anything else in even this price range, you know? This is actually less money and you're getting more for your money. Um, also, you're buying it from a reputable business as well, Long and McQuay, uh, but that's beside the point, is a really good microphone. Um, this is the WS100 by Newmark. Um, you know, I looked at a few others that they had and, you know, five, six, nine hundred, a thousand dollars. I mean, come on, I mean, I'm not playing in front of a hundred thousand people. Well, actually, I am on YouTube, actually, billions of people who watch my videos. Uh, well, millions. But anyways, you get the idea, right? So I, I only need to have so much in a studio, right? I don't need a really super expensive wireless mic. But I did want something that would sound good and is wireless. 
and this definitely sounds good it is wireless and should the occasion arrive and I actually want to or you know end up gigging somewhere where you know I'd rather just have wireless gear this thing is perfect and it goes in its own case for storage too I can put it in its own little you know gig box we'll call it right and um, it's safe and secure set everything up blah 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 it's all good right um, and I know the wireless mics uh, that we have at church they're a much more expensive mic and they are really nice um, but um, you know they also have a very exceptional range but it's the price tag you know a I don't need two mics I need one but even as a one mic setup like I said I've looked at others that you know even within the same price range really weren't as good as what this appears to be you know even for specs they're not up to spec as much as this is you know so this thing really has got some really good specs on it take a look at it on the Long and McQuaid website go into your local Long and McQuaid store uh, the nearest one to me is in North Bay it used to be Music City in that building it is now Long and McQuaid they will be relocating at some point I think this fall to their new building but in the meantime that's where you'll find them if you're in the North Bay area so if you're from my area or you know Trout Creek Sturgeon Falls South River Sun Ridge you know where the store is in North Bay um, you know so hop in there and check check out these mics if you're looking for a wireless mic um, you know even for just playing in your garage type of thing you know you and your buddies and you want some wireless gear and you don't want to spend a lot of money and break the bank this works um, now I, the, my, the main mics I've been using are these PGA 48s which are by the way really awesome microphones they are wired and I was hoping to get a, a conversion kit to go wireless um, but like I said that ends up it's out of the question as far as cost goes um, it's just crazy this was the cheapest way out and um, you know what the heck you know it uh, it's a win-win either way now, uh, one thing I wanted to mention too, because I know someone's going to ask, for changing the batteries, um, all you have to do is just squeeze this little clip here and uh, just rock it a little bit and it pops open and uh, you just dig your batteries out or throw your batteries in, okay, and then just push down on the clip, it'll lock it right back into place screw your cap back cover cap back on away you go now you've got two modes here you've got like a standby mode so you will hear nothing and then of course you've got power you will hear everything <laughs> everything everything so there you go um ws100 by newmark check it out long McQuay. go on their website too um the the link for this uh, I will find it on their website and I'll put the link in the description of the video so you can just click on it check it out check out all the full specs too um, plus I will copy a copy of the full specs in the description of the video too so if you just want to read it there you're more than welcome to and um, thanks for watching stay tuned um, and yeah just keep rocking yes catch you later guys bye